Yo, how y'all guys doing, man? This is your boy Razor, and I don't know. I'm gonna try something new. Let's try this shit out. See what I can do with this voice recorder from my desktop, and see how this shit works. So, yeah. Uh, it's about 11:45 in the morning right now. Um, uh, I didn't get much sleep. About two, three hours. And I turned my PS3 on, and I know that Netflix is out for the PS3. Woo! But, you know, I'm not crazy about all that uh, downloading, streaming shit to your PS3, this and that. I was never into that Redbox, Netflix, Blockbuster here and there. My dad was back in the day, man, until I started buying movies. Now, what I like about buying movies is that I get all the bonus features that I have. I, I recently downloaded or streamed... Uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street on Saturday night, and well, I, I watched it in HD, so it was like five fifty nine or five ninety nine to rent for I don't know how long, twenty four hours I guess. So we saw this and that. I was trying to put subtitles on, man. I like to watch my movies with subtitles, and I don't know if anybody else watches it like that, but I just got used to it and started watching movies with subtitles. I watch anime with uh, uh being uh sub. English sub, of course, and uh, I don't know, man. I just got used to it, so I started watching all my movies like that. But when I was watching this movie, I'm trying to put subtitles on. It didn't let me do that. There goes a downfall for streaming videos or streaming movies, whatever you want to do. You know, I, I I think it's stupid, man. I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't able to go with bonus features or anything like that. It was just just to rent. Now, if you were to rent at Blockbuster, you'll get the whole movie. You get the bonus features, the subtitles. You get everything. You pretty much get everything for the same price. I just had to be, um, I just had to go out there and drive the Blockbuster, but I don't even have an account for that. So yeah, I didn't even have the movie. I didn't feel like going to the store and buying it for twenty-five bucks. So I mean, I guess just to watch the movie. And not to explore what it was and this and that. I guess it was all right, but still. Now Netflix is out for PS3. I was trying to start it out, but you know I was thinking to myself, what the hell am I gonna use Netflix for? I hardly watch TV shows, which is probably House NB and Lie to Me. Those are probably the only two TV shows that I do watch when I watch TV. I never watch TV, and then the only time I watch uh, other time I watch TV is football. All right, now. That being said, what am I going to do with Netflix? I buy movies. I'd rather buy movies. Now, with Netflix, here's my question, guys. Uh, how much uh, how much options do I have on Netflix? You know, in movies and genres. Uh, how far back can I go with movies? And, uh, you know, is there options for bonus features that I can go on there? Like the special features. Can I go there? Can I put subtitles on there? Am I... You know, am I locked just to watch the movie and that's it? And how about TV shows? How's that work? Uh, what's on? Is there anime on there from Japan or this and that? You know, anime that I would like to see. Without commercials, of course. I, I hate commercials. So, yeah, that, those are my couple of questions that I have for y'all guys. You know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm broke at Alright, well, you got a lot of people talking crap about Medal of Honor. And then, that being said, Medal of Honor has, what, came out once on this game, on this gen. This gen, Medal of Honor, one game came out. Now, for Call of Duty, shit, I'm guessing, what, I think you had Call of Duty 2? For Xbox 360 when it first launched, you got 2, 3, then you got 4, then you got War at War, then you got Modern Warfare 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about 7, seven 6 Call of Duties that came out this gen. And no wonder people praise that game. No wonder people praises Call of Duty. Come on, man. Get off Call of Duty nuts. It's like. That's not the only first-person shooters out there, and this is sure 
not the best first person shooter out there guys it's bullshit it's like people are hating Medal of Honor because they're saying that it, nothing new happened on it people are complaining about the online saying that the maps are too small the maps on Modern Warfare 2 are stupid what map do you honestly like on Modern Warfare 2? Call of Duty 4 maps are good though, I gotta say. Modern Warfare 2, no. Nah, nah. It's Gaka, man. Now, Medal of Honor, small. 12 versus 12. Total of 24 people on small maps. You're gonna find action no matter what. Now, surprisingly, for those small maps, there are very good camping spots. Now, that's kind of hard to describe, you know, me just being on voice or whatever. It's, it's wow. That, that, that game is fun, man. It's addictive. I love the, I love the kill streaks on there because you do points. It's badass. And I don't know if I'm even going to upload. Ah, I can't even talk right now. I don't know if I'm going to upload this sound thing because it's already at six minutes. I don't know how much people will. I don't know, hear my voice. You are getting sleepy. But yeah, no, I don't know. I I'll see what I can do with this shit. But yeah, guys, yo, thanks for uh listening. And this is your boy Razor. Out. See y'all later, man.